Hey guys, it's Love the Hippie and I'm back with a new video and yes, I do have clothing on. Uh, I guess you could say partial outfit of the day video. It's just a little jumper if I not already showed this. Well, I came today to show you my hair. Not to be all vain or whatever, but it's the reason why I'm showing you guys because I'm about to do this. I don't know if you guys can see it from the glare of the sun, but it's the Beautiful Textures Naturally Straight Texture Manageability System. And I'm going to try this out because, I don't know, I want a different look. I know I've been rocking the short wig and then I've been rocking my bush. So I was like, I haven't seen my hair straight since I was relaxed, which is pretty crazy. And that's been over two years since I've been relaxed. I've been natural for a year, but I've been transitioning for eight months. So I haven't had a perm since for, for since two years ago. So yeah, I'm gonna try this out. Plus, it'd be nice to see the length of my hair. But I'm gonna tell you guys that I have flat ironed my hair, but it wasn't completely straight. I just got it. How can I say it? I flat ironed it, but it wasn't straight. I just flat ironed on a low setting so I can straighten it so I can clip my ends so yes my ends are clipped um I wanted to try this system because yeah I wanted to have straightened hair so let's talk about it a little bit I haven't used it yet so this comes with the the style guide and the steps to tell you how to do it it comes with the cleansing shampoo and the leave-in conditioner. And it comes with um, the naturally straight anti-reversion shampoo and conditioner. And a pair of gloves. Um, what else? You can use it. It will, it will return your hair back to curly after you straighten it. And it's supposed to make it a little more manageable if you have thick, coarse hair as mine curly hair even though my hair is not curly right now it's not in its natural state you this is a braid out a stretched out braid out so um i'm gonna wash my hair with the cleansing shampoo and then i'm gonna show you guys my natural hair pattern like the, the way it looks naturally and then um after that i'm gonna put the leave-in conditioner in and then i'm gonna show you it blow dried and then I'm gonna straighten it and then I can tell you how I feel about the system so if you want to see how that goes stay tuned hey guys, I just boy. finished washing my hair with the step one cl clarifying shampoo um this is what the okay, sorry, sorry my hair is buggy but this is what the shampoo looks like it's very opaque Yeah, so this is what the shampoo looks like. The shampoo looks like. So now I'm just gonna show you how my hair looks. I have a 3B texture in the front, and a 3C, 4A texture in the back. I have a 3C in the middle. Definitely, they curl in towards the front. Like I said, 3B. So. So there you go. So now I'm going to move on to step two, which is the leave-in conditioner. And okay, let's so let's I just that. finish applying the leave-in conditioner to my hair. And I set my timer for 15 minutes because, yeah, I don't know. I watched, I watched Mono's hair and she set her girl to 15 minutes. Um... I'm just sitting here letting it sit, waiting for my timer to go off. So I'll see you after I blow dry my hair. Well, my blow drying suction is over. Um, yeah, so this is it. Now it's time to move into the flat ironing. Wish me luck, you guys. This is feels yeah. My afro looks amazing. It looks big. Well, time to flat iron. Stay well, tuned. Well, um, 
this is what it looks like flat ironed but I'm gonna go over it again and for the first time I went over it three passes so I'm gonna go over it again don't worry I use heat protectant oh, I use heat protectant I use the new Kansu Shea Butter Thermal Shield heat protectant I don't know if you're supposed to use heat protectant with this thing but I did anyway because I didn't want to risk any more heat damage for myself so I'm going to reflat iron certain parts basically I'm going to reflat iron the whole thing just to get it a little straighter then I'm going to wrap it because this right here this is more of a fluff I don't know what to do with this so let's see what the results going to end up like okay so this is day two and this is the results of me wrapping it and it it didn't get fully straight maybe I did it wrong maybe I didn't put it on enough high heat I used another heat protectant and I still got this I don't like my results uh, I don't know I don't think I'm ever gonna use that again so uh, I'm gonna make a whole another separate video about the process I went to and all that other stuff but this is what it looks like so thank you guys for watching my video if you guys want to watch any more future videos you know what to do subscribe if you have any questions you know comment them and everything else so that's it I'll see you next time bye